It was the seventh day of the seventh lunar month, the Qixi Festival, also known as the Qiqiao Festival, was a day to celebrate lovers. The moon's gaze blurred the harsh edges of the world and bestowed it with a dreamlike softness. A paper window from the inner chambers of the Paradise Manor framed the intertwined silhouettes of a certain god and ghost. Centuries worth of yearning required daily satiations. Tonight, a gratifying stillness was finally shared between two lovers, their sense of quenched desire wafted throughout the room. Xie Lian's head was contoured against Hua Chen's bare chest. The red coral bead in the Ghost King's plait rested at the tip of his nose. His steadying breaths sent it into repeated undulating quivers, echoing the tremors of their bodily pleasure from moments before. An incense time passed before the man embracing him gave him a small squeeze and left their bed. Xie Lian covered the shadow of his lover, the compact tiger fur beneath him a temporary relief against his absence. Peeking across the room through half-slit eyes, something caught his attention. His robes, which were tossed on the floor amidst the heat of their earlier rendezvous, have now been neatly folded and placed on a side chair as if they had never known crease. But Hua Chen's clothes were gone. Just as Xi Lin was about to call out, clinking footsteps drew closer until fully dressed Hua Chen in a brilliant crimson attire emerged from behind beaded curtains. His van braces glimmered under the candlelight matching the chains on his boots with the same luster. Wrath butterflies scattered silver embroidery across his robe, delicately framing a certain belt made by a certain someone. Though exceedingly dashing and overwhelmingly handsome as always in that outfit, Xie Lian wondered why San Lang was dressed. Puzzlement began to softly crease on his face as a ghost king steadily approached and stopped at the foot of the bed. Gaga, can I bathe you tonight? What do you mean, San Long? Don't we always bathe together? I would love to bathe Gaga just for tonight. Will you bestow me the honor? Their daily ritual of a shared bath was something Xie Lian dearly looked forward to. The weightless serenity procured from being embraced by his lover could induce a slumber so tenderly different from the typical night's rest. He was almost saddened by its potential absence. Still, he returned a smile of gentle curiosity. Hua Chen extended his hand, the red affinity knot on his slender finger distinct against fair white skin. That fateful night, on Yujing Mountain, the same hand back then peeked from beneath the curtain of a bridal sedan, graceful and well-mannered. Xie Lian nostalgically recalled his own hesitation and the patience of that hand. Tonight, there was no hesitation but only reflex. His warm fingers coiled over into Hua Chen's cool palm as he was guided forward two ends of one string coiled around each other with each synced step. In the bathhouse, steam mixed with fragrant incense. Xie Lian stepped down from the carpeted hallway onto heated jade, its warmth traveling up his ankles. Through the haze, he noticed something peculiar. A dozen or so candles from the Thousand Lanterns Temple now lined the golden walls, each flickering to their own tempos. There laid on the central bench was a ceremonial ladle used for important services. Why did San Long move these temple items into the bathhouse? Xie Lian thought. White and red petals spotted the bath water surface. Xie Lian's hair were gathered by Hua Chen's cool fingers and draped over the tub rim as he carefully placed himself in the liquid warmth. 
your highness. This is good. Hua Chen stopped Xie Lian so that his lower half was submerged, but his upper half remained dry. Though a familiar address, Xie Lian felt that tonight, Hua Chen's Your Highness was particularly sincere. Hua Chen walked over to the bench, took the ladle with both hands, and filled it with warm bath water. Using the utmost care, he lifted the ladle to Xie Lian's right shoulder, allowing the steady stream to trickle and embrace Xie Lian's nape and right half of his body. Hua Chen laid it another and soothingly draped Xie Lian's left shoulder with water. Just like that, right, then left, right, then left. Hua Chen poured over Xie Lian's body repeatedly. Each pour was done with a gestural sincerity of both hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hua Chen then settled the ladle down and retreated a few steps from the tub, the silver on his boots gently clinking. Misty silence fell. Xie Lian found his lover's eyes closed, hands together in prayer, defined brows furrowed in concentration. Hua Chen chanted an indiscernible phrase seven times, each repetition marked by a slight nod of his head. After separating his palms and opening his eye, he gently rolled up his cuffs and guided Xie Lian to face in front, and he himself stood behind. Fingers, with lightness akin to butterflies skidding across the surface of a lake, wetted themselves in the bath before disappearing past Xie Lian's peripherals. Then, a pressure, neither too hard nor soft, started at the top of Xie Lian's nape. Arcing his thumbs, Hua Chen slowly scraped downwards, tracing the architecture of Xie Lian's spine. His unhurried hands, imbued with an experienced confidence of a masterful craftsman only achieved through patient practice turned flawlessness, repeated this motion seven times as if moulding the spine itself. His fingers slowly walked to the natural hollows right beneath Xie Lian's shoulder muscles and began to exert gentle rotations. This feels amazing, Xie Lian thought. Hidden knots, accumulated from centuries of labour, briefly revealed themselves before dissolving completely under the Ghost King's touch. Working on every node on Xie Lian's back, Hua Chen soothingly melted all of Xie Lian's bodily tension away. Rolling his right hand into a fist, then placing on Xie Lian's shoulder, Hua Chen's left hand began to repeatedly chisel with gentle exertion, the soft taps starting on the edge of the right shoulder blade, then traveling across to the left. Each tap chipped away at the weighted tiredness which had fossilized in Xie Lian's bones. A youthful lightness returned to his body, a lightness that Xie Lian assumed could only be bestowed to his naive, pre-ascension self. Tonight, his muscles delightfully welcomed it home. He couldn't help but exhale in bliss. Satisfied breaths coiled with the surrounding steam, Xie Lian's forearms conformed under the precise work of the craftsman. Hua Chen kneaded his way down Xie Lian's wrist. His thumbs adjusted to the grooves of Xie Lian's right palm, rotating in circular motions. His eyebrows ever so slightly creased as he brought Xie Lian's fingers up to his fine face, examining with rapt attention. As if blowing away a maple leaf, Hua Chen gave a quiet respire then moved to massage every nodule on Xie Lian's palm. It was then that Xie Lian started to notice that his coarse labored skin was somehow becoming smoother. Goodness, he truly acclimated to a life of calloused exertions. He'd forgotten about the wear and tear that made a home of his hands. But Hua Chen didn't. Like a child enchanted, Xie Lian watched his skin polished to a luster smoother than the statues of gods made of gold. Hua Chen then brought over a stool 
and with one swift motion, he hooked his arms beneath Xilian and lifted him from the tub. Droplets drew ripples across the water's surface, framing petals around the reflection of an ivory treasure wrapped in red. Freshly retrieved and now seated, Xilian's exposed figure emitted ornate coils of steam. Hua Chen knelt on the ground so that his eye line sat just below Xilian's. Their gazes held as Hua Chen drew closer. Were they going to go again? But Xilian couldn't handle any more torment tonight. Still, he felt his heartbeats quicken, his lids fluttered shut, lips expectant. Oh! He was pretty far off. A small square of cloth pressed gently at the moisture on his forehead. Hua Chen worked with thoroughness, his eye scanning Xilian's face as he dried. He swept the cloth across Xilian's collarbones and down the curvature of his waist. With careful brushstrokes, he contoured around Xilian's upper body down to his hips. Shifting to the dry side of the cloth, he spiraled the fabric around Xilian's backsides as if he was tracing celestial orbits, dotting any remaining dampness like an astrologer mapping stars. An early evening's desire now quenched by midnight, transformed touch from a raging fire into a warm, steady flame. A flame that transcended the affections shared only between lovers. A universal sort of affection. Tender love and care. So meticulous, so sincere, not a single inch of Xilian's body was missed. Each tap on Xilian's thighs was steady and measured like beads passing through the tranquil hand of a monk. Strokes of the skin were merely tracing the vectors left by the Ghost King's soul-stirring gaze. Xie Lian felt seen. He felt truly seen by the man in front of him. Naked, bare, raw. In all his glory and all his despair, in all his imperfection and all his truth. Ever since he caught the dirt-covered boy all those years ago, ever since then, he had been loved by his Sanlong. Allowing himself to be loved this way was terrifying. Although terrifying, he felt loved. But there was no way he was going to ever get used to this. Xilian suddenly felt extremely bashful. Warmth overwhelmed his cheeks to the point where he couldn't help but retract his legs a little from Hua Chen's touch. Cool, slender fingers, gentle yet firm, opposed this resistance and proceeded to give even more time, care and attentiveness to drying Xilian's calves. Once again, he was softly defeated, unable to fight back, but willing to lose. Xilian surrendered himself and allowed Hua Chen to continue as he pleased. The Ghost King quirked a smile as he weaved the cloth between Xilian's toes with the lyrical fluidity of newlyweds dancing in the night. As Hua Chen went on to lift Xilian's foot, he noticed something peculiar. His Highness's soul was flushed with the same pink as his cheeks. San Long! Xilin cried as he covered his face in embarrassment. Blush, like wildfire, spread from the crown prince's neck down his chest, finally connecting the red of his face with the rose of his feet. Hua Chen chuckled. A light peck on each of the pink soles marked the completion of the sculptor's work. All done now, he said. Hello! Thanks for dropping by my first Hua Lian fic. I was inspired by retired Peach's Hua Lian fan comic of Hua Chen bathing Xielian with the flashbacks of his 10 years in Mount Tonglu. Switching to the other POV, I asked myself, what would it be like for Xielian to experience being physically sculpted by Hua Chen in the form of a massage and bath? This fic, which takes place post the birthday extra, is my attempt to explore Hua Chen's devotion through simple domesticity 
and Chilean experiencing incredible TLC for the first time in such a way that may be sensual but not sexual. My heart really goes out to Chilean because he had experienced so much body horror in his lifetime, so I thought that through Huachan doing this for him, he can learn to treat himself better and treat his body better. I felt really comfortable referencing religious practices in this fic because technically Hua Chen is treating Xi Lian like the living god he is. Anyways, thanks so much for listening and I'll see you in the next chapter's recording. Bye bye.